side. Hello everyone, I'm a future guitar here back, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we freed all four of the carpenters. Uh, I can never remember their names for the life of me, but whatever. Um, and now, we're going to be doing some side quests. Now, I try to record this a few other times. First time, the computer crashed. Second time, uh, well, I kind of fell a lot at the side quest. And the side quest is... Shooting Range. <laughs> Or the uh, archery range, basically horseback archery. But anyways, so horseback we require a partner, obviously, because <laughs> yeah. And somehow she appears right over there, even though she just wasn't just a moment ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now we talk with her. And I'm just gonna skip all that. If you get 1,000 points, I'll give you something good. Now let's see. And that is a piece of heart. Okay, let's see. Oh, come on, come on. I think I might be able to do the 1,000. The 1,000 is easy enough. It's just the 1,500. Because uh, there's a price you get for 1,500 points. And it's hard as hell to get. Well, it's hard as hell for me to get. 1,300. That's... Eh. Well, at least I got the other 1,000. Piece of heart. Easy. Now... Speak. With 1500 points, this is going to be the largest quiver that you can get in the game. Hoping I can get this. <laughs> Seeing as how I suck a lot. Okay, so close. 40. Way. Uh, oh my god, the same amount as last time. Seriously? Oh my god, I got worse than last time. Darn it. So close. <laughs> Okay, I go close to it, but still, it's 80 away. Oh, for God's sakes. 110 away now. Oh, for God's sakes. 190 points away. Oh, my God. 200 away this time. Oh, my God. Are you serious? 110 away. Oh, my God. Uh, no, it's so close. 20 this time. Oh, yeah, yeah, one, two, three, zero. Oh, my God, 1340. Are you serious? Seriously? Oh, I think I might get it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Finally, I'll be damned. <sighs> Finally, <laughs> could actually ride this horse. No, I can't. Didn't think so. Now, also, but yeah, you see, now I can carry fifty. No, I do not. No. Nope. If I change the time to night, there should be... It says, play the sun song to make it night and head for the far big target all by its lonesome where gold sculpture awaits you. Which is either this one or the other one. I'd say it's the other one. Okay. Uh, can't see it. Okay, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Apparently, I can target. Uh, I might use myself as any ammunition to at the target if that makes sense. Wait, what I can do? There we go. Yeah. 
Now, hold on a moment. Okay. I am back. So now... We shall go over to where the gate is to the haunted wasteland. Come on. And over here. Down. I'm gonna talk to her. Huh? Hey, newcomer. Okay, not her. Up here. Hey, rookie. Well, you're different. Are you going into the desert? I'll open this gate for you, but you can't cross the desert unless you pass the two trials. <laughs> the first trial is the River of Sand. You can't walk across this river. After you cross it, follow the flags we placed there. The second trial is the Phantom Guide. Those without eyes that can see the truth will only find themselves returning here. <laughs> You're going anyway, aren't you? I won't stop you. Go ahead. <laughs> So now, can I back flip off here? No, I can't. I've done it. I've done it. Down. <laughs> Cut all of that. <laughs> that sound that he makes. So, anyways, what we shall need is we shall need to bring out this, and we shall need this. And I might as well bring out the big ones. So, bring out the big guns. Let's talk. If you chase the mirage, the desert will only sw will swallow you. Only one path is true. And so it begins. Oh, yeah. So, this is the reason you want the hover boots, is because it's e um, that river of sand that she was talking about. Um, basically. Uh, it's easier with the um, the hover boots, so yeah. All those reckless enough to venture into the desert, please drop by our shop, carpet merchant. Over here. Hey, <laughs> falling carpet. Uh, anyways, speak to this. So, welcome. I'm selling stuff, strange and rare, from all over the world to everybody. Today's special is... A dangerous running object. Terrifying. I won't tell you what it is until I see the money. How about 200 rupees? Don't buy it. By the way, this is a bomb shoe. Just so you know. <laughs> and he calls it a dangerous moving explosive thing, whatever it was called. I can't remember exactly what he said, but whatever. Who cares? So... Yeah. Make sure you follow the flags, otherwise, yeah, uh, yeah, you'll get stuck. <laughs> He's like, yep, pretty much that will be gonna happen. You gotta get stuck. <laughs> so up there, there's a double flag. That means we've hit something. And let's see. There's that Poe that's on top. But we're going to ignore that for now and go down here. And there is a gold sculpture down here. Yeah, yeah. So, gold sculpture, now we're going to bring out Din's fire. Come on. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure this causes a chest to appear. Yep. Okay, <laughs> it's almost kind of overpowered if you ask me about that part. Ooh, that'll make up for the things I wasted on the uh, on the archery range thingy. And I'd rather forget. Yeah. Let me bring out the hook shot again, just in case. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can barely see anything. Okay, there we go. Let's go up. Check. One with the eye of truth shall be guided to the spirit temple by an inviting ghost. There you go. I'll be your guide on your way, but coming back, 
I won't play. I'll show you the only way to go. So follow me and don't be slow. Try not to be slow. <laughs> What? I think that's all we stop. <laughs> stop making me s tell, say, uh, C button, whatever. Uh, ex ig ignore the enemies, just, <laughs> just don't worry about them. Oh, whoa, 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 the reason I'm turning on and off the Legend Truth is to save a bit of magic power because my magic power is running a little bit low, to say the least. I'm kind of putting my fingers in an obscure position, or putting the controls in an obscure position <laughs> originally because, yeah, I'm like using the arrow keys up and down, left and right to move, obviously. Um, and then X is A, I have set up. Oh, good. Um, C, I have set up as B. A is L. S is R. Z is obviously Z. And then, like, the on the number pad, 8 is up C, 2 is down C, 4 is left C, 6 is right C. That's how I have it set out. Sure, yeah. Maybe I should have set it to IJKL keys. Well, then again, it would be even harder. And I see a piece of heart up there. Actually, before we do anything, I'm going to go over to here. Hoping I can find the... So I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to bring out my bombs. Ow. It's where these two palm trees with Degu nuts as coconuts are. Bubble the world. There you go, and damn you. So, we have another great fairy. <laughs> so, play Zelda's lullaby, and we shall meet another great fairy. Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. <laughs> Our third and final magic spell. Okay, the reason I wasn't talking was because I was reading something at the top. So, we have everything healed, but now we have this. <laughs> Very expensive, it's double the price of both of these. It's the price of both these together, basically, or two of that, or two of that, whatever. And basically, it makes you pretty much invincible for a short period of time. Which is kind of overpowered, if you ask me. I mean, you still take, you still, it still shows you taking the act of, uh, showing the act of taking damage, but, I mean, it looks awesome, but, I mean, say, I'm gonna try and get hurt here. I mean, I'm not getting hurt at all. <laughs> so, yeah. Did I hear a gold sculpture Yep, I saw a gold sculpture left. Oh, you. How'd you get? Try and get this. Oh, <laughs> so weird. Seriously, can't I get this without you annoying me? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. 
A blue one. Oh, there you go. And yeah. Now, can I please grab this? Can I please grab this? There we go. Okay, how many gold sculptures have we got? Wow, 70! <laughs> I've never actually gotten that many. I've never even got higher than, um, like, 40 in, other than in this, in this series on YouTube. <sighs> okay. So now we've got all that out of the way. We shall go into here. The Spirit Temple. Parts. So these. Yep. Just kill them. Now. Okay, there we go. But there's a problem here. Or two problems. First of all, this thing here. We can't push it. And this is one of those child size holes. So nothing to do here, let's just step out. Ooh, cutscene. <laughs> I'm guessing chic. I bet it's chic. Yup. I guess it. <laughs> so predictable. Past, present, future. Okay, Paul. The Master Sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through Time's River. The port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through Time's flow. <laughs> Listen to this Requiem of Spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. Into what we gotta do. I absolutely love this song more than the Nocturne of Shadow, actually. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even play it. <laughs> there we go. You have learned the Requiem of Spirits. And he doesn't even say anything. How inconsiderate. Okay, I think it kind of glitched because he didn't exactly throw the nut. But anyways. We are going to quickly play this. Prelude of Light. And we're going to end this episode here. Um, next episode we'll actually... Uh, th that, that was actually kind of the start of the <laughs> temple, but the real start ha will happen in the next episode. Just so you know. So, I shall end off with us putting the Master Sword back into the pedestal of time. And us traveling back seven years in time. I mean, who the hell needs a DeLorean for that? <laughs> yeah, but anyways, I shall see you next time. On let's play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Get it, time. Anyways, and until the next time, peace! <laughs>